Shalom to everybody. I'm pleased to be part of that interesting conference, and I am sorry to be the last from the morning. You are already tired, maybe. No, you are not. No, you are not. I am. Okay. Uh, <laughs> so, the, uh, we have to be conscious that uh, the Holocaust denial is part of the genocide project itself, you know, because there is a program of the genocide itself which is cover, covering tracts. And this covering tracts has been sought from the beginning. And we have the proof of it, this in the Himmler speech in Posen in, the, in October 43. He says, speaking about the Holocaust, this is a page of glory in our history which has never been written and is never to be written. So when we are fighting against the denial, in a certain way, we are still fighting against the Holocaust project itself. Because the dream of the Nazi was not only to kill all the Jews from Europe, but also to make that event disappear, never exist. That was the project. As I have to spoke about uh, the French uh, legislation. My plan is very clear, very simple. First, the French law punishes Holocaust denial. We will see how. Then we have to face to the internet problem. And uh, what is the regulation of internet itself? And after we ha will have to appreciate if it works or not. So, in France, Holocaust denial is an offence, the offence of contest, contesting crime against humanity. It's a law of the 1990 which criminalised Holocaust denial by final imprisonment and which concerns those who have challenged publicly, publicly the existence of one of more crime against humanity as defined, let's say, in short, by the number Nuremberg uh, Court. And I'm sure that that law uh, has been challenged as violating freedom of speech. And at the, the court, the French court, and then the European Court of Human Rights has been seized for that problem. And uh, the, to, to go quick uh, ahead, the, <coughs> the case has been posed by a certain Garodi, uh, who is well known in France. I don't know if some of you have ever heard this name. It's a very uh, original itinerary, that man. He was communist. And then he became Christian. After that, he got Muslim. And he wrote a book, which is, uh, the, the title is The Founding Myth of Israeli Policy. And in that book, he says, uh, in, to be rough, that Israeli is based on the myth of Holocaust, and which allowed it to uh, take advantage, political and financial advantages. And uh, he was condemned in the French court on the base of the uh, law, law of 1990 we just uh, talked about. And he made a record on the freedom of speech in the European Court of Human Rights. But you have, we have to know that in Europe, and I speak especially to uh, American participants, in Europe we have the, the Convention of uh, Human Rights which is inspired not only by René Cassin, but also by the memory of uh, what happened in Europe during the war. And we said we will not, no longer will be the victim of a certain, uh, uh, the, the excess of liberal liberalism. And that has a traduction in an article of the European Con Convention from, for Human Rights, which is Article 17, which provides that the no one 
could drawn from the convention a right aimed at the destruction of the right and freedom set forth in the convention. And on that basis, the European Court uh, reject the claim of Garodi, and maybe we can take the, the time just to, to read what the court decided. There is no doubt that denying the reality of clearly established historical facts, such as the Holocaust, as does the applicant in, this, in his book, is not in any way a work of historical research acting to a quest the trust. The purpose and outcome of such an approach is completely different because it actually rehabilitates the national socialist regime and consequently accuses the victims themselves of, fal of falsifying history. Thus, the denial of crimes against humanity appears to be one of the most serious form of, of racial defamation of Jews. And then we remain what uh, you said just a second ago. So the denial of crimes against humanity appears to be one of the most serious forms of racial defamation of Jews and incitement of hatred to them. Such denial or writing of historical facts is likely to seriously disturb public order, affecting the right of others. Such acts are incompatible with democracy and human rights, and their author clearly aim at objectives of the kind prohibited by Article 17 of the Convention I just mentioned. So it's clear that that law in France is uh, legitimated and it is uh, also stated on the European level. So what happened with internet? We had in, European, uh, in Europe uh, a convention on the e-commerce uh, which makes the obligation for different states to transfer that directive, European directive, in their own legislation. And the French did it in 2004, in June, and the, the law provides that providers informed in illegal character of content they host are not responsible if they act promptly to remove such data or make access thereto impossible as soon as they become aware of this situation. In the contrary, if they do not, when once they are aware, they could be responsible. And that's a good base because it's clear that nobody can ask and request from provider to know uh, the huge quantity of data which they, pro they host. But once they are aware, they, ta they take the responsibility. And don't say that they, have to, they ca are not the, in the place of judge, because they have to balance if it is, the French law said, not seriously contest contestable that such information is illegal in our subject is denial the Holocaust. If, it is, uh, if there is a reasonable doubt, it's not a problem. But it is not seriously con contestable that that contained is, for instance, denying the Holocaust. If they don't remove, once they are aware, they got responsible. So French providers almost do not harbor any more denial contents to avoid being a complice in the crime established by the uh, 1990 Act. The problem is, if such content are not hosted in France, they could be hosted, let's say, in States. So, what to do, what the French judge will do if a provider located in states will not accept to remain the content. We, we plead the, the case. It was the ARG case. ARG, which is amateur, I will say in French, because they, they take especially a, uh, the name which put them in the head of all lists, alphabetic list. 
amateur des anciens récits de guerre et de holocauste. It is a portal which uh, hosts a lot of um, denial sites. And it was uh, lodged, hosted in states. And uh, uh, an association, a French association fighting racism, not Jewish one, but I, won, I was a lawyer of it, make a case against that portal and also against the US uh, arbor and uh, oh, uh, provider. And they said, we don't want, and they even not come in the French uh, court. So we proved to the court that this uh, provider, foreign provider, do not uh, applicate the French law, and the French uh, judge order to the, I, the French ISP, which is the internet service provider, those who make you in France uh, able to go on the web, they get the order from the court not to allow you to uh, reach that side harbored in states. So we won. But it's a very hard and long and difficult case because it, it, it takes years to be judged. Uh, even if, 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 if it is a summary cause, we have to, 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 to require the implication of host in states. We have to, um, make, to wage the, all the, the French ISP, which is a lot. The, the procedure uh, takes four years because they have remedies, appeal, cassation. And once we, we have a definitive judgment, we know that there are techniques to bypass. So we have not a technical solution. And it, it was exactly what was said this morning. The, the law is not the level of efficiency. In the internet uh, uh, technique, the law is just to set the value but, and to give indication to the main operators and to responsible them. But to have a day-to-day -day, uh, efficiency is a technical problem, you know. And the French judge is also aware of that because to help the technical uh, service provider to decide themselves what they have to do, the French legislator orders them to uh, set up system to, for the reporting of the most serious offense, like cri defending crimes against humanity, child pornography, incitement to violence, and incitement to discrimination, hatred, or racial violence. So, for, for these uh, crimes, it's an obligation for the French operator to uh, set up system for easy uh, reporting, which is done and which gives some uh, result. We will see the relevance of this mechanism first on national efficiency and then what we could be do uh, what could be done on the international level. For national e efficiency, we made a test very simple. You know maybe the name of Forisson is a French denier, one of the first. I made a, a case against him in, eight, in 1978. And he still on, he was invited in Iran by Ahmadinejad and okay in Vichy, which is not a, uh, a joke. Uh, <laughs> if you put the word Forisson on Dailymotion, Dailymotion is the, equivalent, is the French equivalent of YouTube. 
So you put a request with Fourisson, just Fourisson, on Dailymotion, and you will find no videos on Dailymotion. You do the same request on YouTube, and on the first page, you have a dozen of videos. And we can think about that, especially in the light of the Yahoo case. I had the privilege to plead 11 years ago the Yahoo case. I imagine it and I plead it on the name of the LICRA. Um, I was not all so old as you because you start in, in, nine, in uh, 1995, I, st I, I start for some years after. But we, I made the, the Yahoo case and uh, as you mentioned, it was a, a very uh, uh, impressive case because there is an auction uh, department on Yahoo and on which you could find a lot of uh, Nazi items, especially Cyclone B uh, boxes. And in France, it, it is illegal to make propaganda or to sell items, Nazi items, which is a very small fine but it's enough to make it illegal. So I, we run to the summary judge and said, you have the power to stop what she is ma uh, manifestly, uh, apparently illegal. So look, on the internet, you can buy items which are illegal in France. So I sue not only Yahoo France, but also yahoo.com, which is in states. And we had a very interesting uh, process, uh, case, in which an expertise was ordered with three experts, one from states, it was Winton Surf, maybe you know, one of, some of you knows who is Winton Surf, he is one of the fathers of the internet and also an expert uh, from uh, Great Britain and a French expert. And the case, uh, the expertise was if it is possible on technical basis to determine if a request came from France because the judge says, I am just uh, competent for French. I, I, am not the, I have not rule for states. And the expertise ended that on 88, 90%, uh, you can uh, determine the nationality of the, the requirement. And we knew it because at that time, Yahoo post uh, publicity in French. When I uh, uh, try to go on the Yahoo site from Paris, I get advertising in French. If you do it, uh, here uh, in Germany, I guess you got publicity in German. So we, we said, and we, it, it was confirmed by the expert. So the French judge uh, take a summary case, which was confirmed by the appeal court in uh, 2000. Uh, and uh, Yahoo was convinced to take all measures to dissuade and render impossible any access via yahoo.com to the auction sale service of Nazi object in and any other site or service that is an apology for Nazism or contesting of Nazi crimes uh, under penalty of uh, uh, 100,000 francs per day, which is um, 15,000 15, euros per day, which, which is a lot, even for Yahoo. So, As you said, you said, Yahoo voluntarily changed his auction site. But in the same time, Yahoo made a case in states and said to a uh, request from the American judge to declare that in the case of which, in which the Lycra wanted to enforce the French decision in American uh, territory, it will be null and void because it is opposite to the First Amendment. 
and he Yahu won in the first degree district uh, judgment. But the Lytra, we made an appeal, and the federal court uh, of San Jose gave a very interesting decision of 100 page, uh, in which you can read that France is a sovereign state and may decide to prohibit the sale of certain items on its territory. It also notes that Yahoo, since it has chosen to expand its activity abroad, must accept to take its responsibility if it does not apply the foreign law. And that is the reason why I have some spare that even if the French law is not international law and respect the, the legitimacy of each state to establish its one, from the moment then uh, a country, a nation, host a site dedicated to France, and it is easy to establish because it, the language in it, if it is in France, in French, that means it is dedicated to France. And at that time, the company which don't respect the law of French could be uh, responsible on the way, on the basis of the Yahoo case, judged in the state itself. So that make me some uh, spare that we will have. Uh, maybe we, we can do more than what we do. Uh, maybe we have not drawn from the, the case we won, all the consequences we could. And that is my conclusion. My conclusion is, in France, you, you see there is a decrease in denial contract on fry side, but they have not disappeared because the technicity and the speedy of web, it's we, we always run after them and we always lose the, 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 the course. And we have to uh, interrogate ourselves and the public, because if the public aware the uh, re report to the provider, as I mentioned, they get uh, the uh, obligation to, and they get responsible in France if they do not. So maybe we are not making uh, enough report to them. And maybe the association anti-racist and uh, in France does not all the case they have to do. That is the, the problem. We are not drawing all uh, action we could do. And also on international level, as I mentioned, the Yahoo case could extend the effect of the French law on international large hosting platform and content when the content is in French. I thank you very much.